Welcome back to Tip of the Week. This week we are going to look at some methods used to modify fiberglass aircraft components. In this case, an engine cowl that needs a little more room for the engine to fit properly. Here we need to add a bubble or large blister to make room for the unique protrusion in this area. The goal is to make use of a standard cowl and then make the modifications necessary for this engine to fit. The principle we want to demonstrate here is how to make modifications in fiberglass components so you can create a custom fit for your aircraft, whether you're working with cowls, fairings, or wheel pants. Here we see a completed bubble made from fiberglass that can now be added to this cowl to address our custom engine fit. So how did we fabricate this custom fiberglass bubble? At the heart of the process is the use of expanding polyurethane foam. This is a two-part liquid material that when mixed will expand in five minutes and then harden in about 15 minutes. It then can be molded and then laminated with polyester or epoxy resin to support the fiberglass in any desired shape. Let's take a look. This is two pound density. That's about what you want for doing this kind of work. But sculptures and stuff, they use things that are like 10 pound or 20 pound. So you want exactly half and half. Of course, we're just doing a little sample here, so. And this, you don't have a lot of time. As soon as when you mix it, eventually it starts turning into a cream. And when there's very few streaks left, you're actually ready. So if you have a large area that you want to do, you want to just get going at it right, right about there. But we have some time. Of course, the more you mix it, the more uniform and it's going to be. It's like anything. Try to get a fresh batch of it. Now you can see it's getting sticky. It's like Gorilla Glue, but with a hardener. <laughs> It gets really yeah. sticky. In fact, you can glue stuff together like crazy. If you have a piece of foam and it's not big enough, just mix some of this, put it on one edge of the foam, like a foam sheet, and stick it together and it'll glue it. At one point, it's too late to play around with it. Uh. See? Like right now, you can still... Like if we were to do a small repair, you, could, you can move it around a little bit for a while. Let's say it, want, it goes away from the area you want to work. You can kind of keep working it for a little while but it comes a point where you want to stop because it won't take its shape anymore or it won't you know run into being a uniform so, make some pancakes mm -hmm. <laughs> and you don't want to use the stuff from Home Depot even though it looks similar it's not a two component it won't sand good it won't cut good it'll have big holes in it you'll find this under like uh, boating supply In about 10 minutes, you can start cutting and carving it. You can get a cut off bandsaw blade or any kind of machine shop going there. Probably have a pile of them. Hacksaw blade? Bandsaw. Bandsaw. Yeah. And the wider, the better. And it cuts easy. And it leaves a pretty good surface for sanding. <laughs> Strong stuff. Yeah, so then if you wanted to make something, uh, even if you wanted to make uh, an arch, arc, Noah's arch, you could bend the blade, do that. And 
I guess you can dig into it. You can do anything you want. But at this point, it's easy, you know. You just and then if let's say you were you're making a, a shape and then you wanted this to go all the way out, but for some reason you're missing something there. You can mix up just a little tiny bit and put it right there. Wait 15 minutes and then you can keep going. So it's easy. It's a lot easier to work than with Bondo and you don't have to catch it so fast. In this scenario, the front top of this cowl was not the right size and shape for this engine. The front top was cut away and now we will create our own custom nose using the polyurethane foam. Note the engine is covered in plastic so the foam will never touch the engine while it sets up. Plastic tape can also be used to form a protective barrier. You can also use this process for a repair where a large area is damaged or missing so you can restore or recreate the shape for the fiberglass. Once the foam is sculpted into its final shape, it can then be covered with fiberglass cloth. Polyurethane foam is impervious to the popular resins like epoxy, polyester, and vinyl ester. As we get more comfortable working with fiberglass, the more creative we can be building our aircraft projects. If we should do more tips on fiberglass related work, do let us know. In the meantime, everyone please, back to building.